Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Scorpio, for those of you guys that follow our Tarot Lessons 101, we're going back on schedule starting Sunday. I want to apologize. We've been extremely busy, uh, not only with business, but also dealing with a lot of personal stuff, a lot of changes. Um, yeah, it's been kind of crazy, but anyways, we're going back starting this Sunday, so you guys definitely stay tuned. For those of you guys returning to my channel, welcome, my lovelies. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification bell so that you guys can get notified for all the videos that are coming up. We have tons of new videos, spell videos coming up. Um, we're going to be a little bit more proactive on this channel, so you guys definitely hang tight. <laughs> How are you doing, my lovely Scorpios? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Happy Valentine's for those of you guys that celebrate. And for those of you guys that are single, do not despair, my lovelies. This is a perfect time to treat yourself. Go get yourself a nice wine bottle, a good movie, and an amazing dinner. Treat yourself. There is nothing like embracing love and the energy of love. More specifically, self-love, because this is extremely powerful and sometimes necessary. So have fun. <laughs> How is this Venus retrograde treating you guys? I hope it's treating you much better than I. It is in my sign, so it's been kind of fucking crazy to say the least. But anyways, let's get into your reading, Scorpio. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this coming or for this month of February 2022? What is it that they can expect? Please give us a clear picture of what is unfolding for them. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2022. Want to let you guys know that we're also um, going to be restocking all your favorite, oof, all your favorite ritualized soaps on my online store. We have tons of candles coming out. Um, and like I said, restocks of your favorite uh, soaps. So all of that's going to be happening in March. So you guys definitely stay tuned for that as well. All right, Scorpio, let's get into it. All right, my lovelies, first card here, energy around you or surrounding you. It is the eight of wands, a lot of movement, quick movement, quick opportunities. I'm getting like glimpses of, I'm getting glimpses of like having foresight, being able to see the unfolding future for some of you guys this could be through visualization this could be um through meditation this could be that you're just intuitively feeling and picking up on the energies of major transformation that's unfolding for you scorpio definitely hone into that energy pay attention to your intuition as well eight of wands could represent quick movement almost like opportunities that you need to like the moment they present themselves do not fear do not be in your head about it you know take that opportunity if you're feel if you're feeling pulled towards it if you're being passionate about it do not hesitate because as quickly as they come they will quickly go scorpio next card here is the two of cups for some of you guys a new person is coming towards you for this month you will be connecting or meeting someone. For some of you guys, this could be meeting or finally meeting a person from a distance. Someone you've been conversating or connecting or communicating with. For some of you guys, it could be a person you met online or through some type of dating app or something. Um, finally being able to align everything for that meet, for that physical meet. So beautiful energy. We also have here the page of wands. We have the Five of Pentacles, <clears throat> Nine of Swords, Ten of Cups, King of Swords, and the Five of Wands. All right, my lovelies. So what I'm seeing here is the Five of Pentacles indicates the fear of instability. I feel like you guys have progressed tremendously. If you're currently feeling like there is a bit of stuckness, do not despair. Do not worry about it because... You're going to be making major leaps, Scorpio, for this month going into March. But what I do want to emphasize here is you need to let go of the fear of instability or the fear of not having enough. 
Now, this could be that maybe you, you know, your budget has been a bit tight. For some of you guys, it could be that you literally have to physically be watching what you're spending. Um, there's almost like this feeling of, you know, trying to make meets end and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But they are telling you that that's quickly coming or becoming something of the past. You need to let go of the fear um, of going back to that position or to that situation. Now, for some of you guys, this could represent that there, you've already experienced major transformations in regards to your finances. And what they're telling you here is you have to let go of that fear of not having enough Scorpio. This could be for those of you guys that you've busted your ass or worked really hard to have what you have or to make those major leaps. I understand that sometimes, you know, the fear of uncertainty kind of gets in our head. But what Spirit is telling you is the more you focus on lack or the more you worry and concern yourself of not having enough, the more you're kind of manifesting in that that into your life regardless if right now you're experiencing a lot of abundance so again you have to detach yourself from that sometimes this is something that i tell my clients um a lot of the times when we do like money rituals for them or to bring success to them or to bring opportunities for them the moment they start doing good there's always like this feeling of i need to save and and, and not really give themselves, you know, if they go out and they're like, oh my God, I seen these, you know, glasses as an example, or um, this jacket I really liked, but it was so expensive and I just don't want to, uh, you know, spend money on like nonsense or things that are not necessary. Yes, it's important to save, obviously, but do not keep yourself from wanting things. Um, and it's not just things, it's an experience is what I tell my clients, because as an example, if you're saving, right, and you're saving all your life, what is it that you're really doing? Because you're not really experiencing, you're not really living in the moment. And when all is said and done, when we're gone, we're gone. Do you see what I'm saying? So I'm not saying go out and blow all your money. Absolutely not. Always be smart with your money. But do not keep yourself from like going out and having a nice dinner because, you know, I just don't want to um, waste money or I don't. Because when you vibrate from the fear of lack, you're ultimately manifesting that in your near future. So again, it's about balancing and it's about knowing um, that sometimes when we you know, keep ourselves from experiencing or enjoying something, uh, you're vibrating more from a lack of fear. And the lack of fear does bring, you know, I, not necessarily poverty, but it does bring uh, financial inconsistency or instability because of that fear. So you need to let go of this. And for some of you guys, this could be something that um, is generational. You know what I mean? Something that maybe your parents or as a child, uh, you experience, you know, lack of stability whether it's in relationships not just finances you guys but um connect it where it resonates for some of you guys it could be finances for others of you it could be relationships um experiencing inconsistency um in relationships as an example or or you were raised uh, to you know in a very toxic environment and you're often contemplating maybe you know it's my destiny to uh, follow my mother's footsteps or follow my father's footsteps or whatnot. What Spirit is telling you here is, no, you need to detach yourself from that mentality because ultimately your destiny is that of your own. It's not of your mother. It's not of your father. It has a lot to do with the way you view things from your eyes out, outside of you, the way you view the world. So again, it, it's about teaching yourself um, that you are worthy, that you do deserve love, that you do deserve abundance, that you do deserve success. It, it's almost like if you bust your ass and you work really hard, how could you doubt deserving of major stability and having financial freedom? You cannot doubt that because your work ethic is meeting your vibration. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's about changing um, transforming your way of thinking in order to be able to embrace what you truly deserve. 
uh, Scorpio. Now, you also do have here the Ten of Cups with the Queen of Swords, sorry, King of Swords, could indicate dealing with an air sign, not necessarily. Um, but what they are telling you here is there is a need for you to be either more physical. Uh, if you are in a relationship, there's a need for you to nurture the relationship because it's growing a little bit cold. And later on, you don't want to, you know, um, blame other people for something that you could have put effort in. Uh, so it's about maintaining balance in every single aspect of your life, my lovelies. I want to wish you guys the very best. Hope you guys enjoy and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.